Alright, so what we're doing today is we're going to be camping out using the gear I got from Kafaru. I've got the Kafaru slick bag, I've got the pack I got from Kafaru and the sawtooth tent. This is my pack. Uh, Tiffany has the muskeg. I think that's how you say it. But uh, I'm going to attempt to set this tent up. Um, I've only ever set it up once prior. Uh, that was to seam seal it. So it might take a second. And I've never set up the stove. So. That should be interesting. First thing we're do. Yes, right here. You gotta find the back. Which is right here. Alright. So the first thing you do is you stake the back in. like that's mine okay hold on You gotta work around him because he doesn't move. He makes it so much easier to do this. This is the front. You find this orange tag. This is gonna be your setback line for your front stake. You want it to be a V, as straight as you can. And so that's gonna be my setback. And that's where my stake is gonna go. I think I put the pole in now. So this little notch right here is where they recommend you to put it. But so you don't put too much pressure in the tent when you're lifting it in. They said just to bottom it out. So we'll see. get in here come on how to get in really i didn't see him come in he went underneath the bottom i don't know we'll try this to see what happens why does that one have an orange thing then because these are the ones you're supposed to stake first what's that from the when i seem so i think i used too much silicone it's all sticking together i need to stick this one he saw you grab it So this doesn't drive into the ground. And then taking this one. And it goes like that. Now we can do the side ones. Can can you give me a minute? Here, fair trade. 
he always accepts trades. All right, we don't want to pull this way out here. We kind of want it to stay in line. So we get it about here. it with that knot sliding up and down. I think I uh, did too bad. So for watching the video once um, on how to set it up, it's fairly quick and easy to set up. Pretty spacious in here. Um, I'm, those guidelines really do pull it out quite a bit. I could probably adjust that one and move it out a little more. But uh, I'll put my cot right here. Uh, yeah. All right. Got to set up the stove. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do the stove. It's gotten warm. It's like 70 degrees, and it's already warm inside that tent. And it might rain. So on the inside, as you can see, it's pretty roomy. I got my cot laid up. This is a cot made by Desert Walker. It's super lightweight. Yeah, there it is. Desert Walker, and it was super easy to put together. Um, Maximus already was laying on it. My pack's in here. So, it's pretty tall. This is me on my knees. And then I'm 6'2, and I can stand up directly in the middle. I forgot to order a stuff sack, so I'm using the old Four Marine dry bag for my sleeping bag for now. So there we go. If the temperature stays like this, I might just sleep on it like this is actually super comfortable. Because it's uh it's pretty hot right now, especially inside here. It's a little windy. I like it. I like it. I'm pretty excited to take this out and use it. This is super soft. The sleeping pad's awesome. Who makes that thing? What do I do with the bag? There it is. It has got an R rating of 1.3. And then I got a little tarp as my floor mat just for right here. Just in case I do start to get some ground water. So far I like it. So I ended up taking everything down because of the rain. The storm rolled in. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. But it wasn't fair for me to sleep out here without Maximus. Because I didn't want him being soaking wet and getting in the tent, getting out of the tent all night. So I'm going to redo it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment. I'll see you all at the next one.